Well, we first met, um, I was leaving from the lake and it was me and my girlfriend. She's also in the wedding. But um, we met at a gas station and I happened to be going in uh, the store to, you know, purchase the gas or whatnot. And he was kind of behind me checking me out, you know, but <laughs> I didn't I didn't really say anything. I was just going to let him shoot his shot first and that he did. So if I could remember, he said something on the lines of, do you always dress like that or look like that when you come out? And so I started blushing and I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, I do. <laughs> and it just, you know, it went from there and um, it was totally unexpected. I was going out and um, seen her at the store. You know, uh, she was getting out the car as I was getting out the car and I seen her and uh, I pulled right up there and was like, whoa. <laughs> and so um, she had actually got out the car before me and uh, we were walking to the store together and I just asked her, I said, um, I mean, do you always look this good when you come out? <laughs> And uh, she started smiling and, um, and we exchanged numbers and uh, later on that night I gave her a call and yeah, we, that was nine years ago. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much how we met. Um, that was uh, around this time, nine years ago. So that's why we picked this date for everything. It was Memorial Day weekend. So the first real date I would say is when we the street, we had a block party on the street. And he came by to pick me up. Um, and if I could remember, we kind of started having some drinks. We got a little tipsy with the neighbors and everybody that was outside. So we never quite had the first date. Um, <laughs> that was our date on the street. First date was probably the movies, because we both would like movies a lot. I mean, I don't remember when we met, we went so many places, we just hooked up every single day and left out. So I don't know actually the first place we actually went, but I'm thinking it's probably the movies are out to eat. <laughs> Both of those are kind of like our things. The qualities that I love about Rodney is that he is not the type of guy that I've been with. And what I mean by that is that he don't, he doesn't be in the streets like that at all. He's got the same routine since I've known him. Work, home, work, home. He's, so he's not in the streets. He's a faithful kind of guy um, and that's something new to me he is loyal once he you know starts to love you and to be honest that took a little minute you know because we both had things going on and he said that he wanted to straighten that out before he focused on me and when he started to focus on me he never left <laughs> many <laughs> many 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 um, definitely smart Definitely attractive. Um, caring is, is one of the one of the biggest things. She's got the biggest heart, so um, I'm kind of like most of all, I'm glad that's on my side. <laughs> so I, I say uh, she's she's got the biggest heart. That I know. Well, Rodney, my mother gave me the confirmation. That's one. Bless her heart, she's no longer here. But they developed the bond quicker than me and him did. So that gave me confirmation. And then just his heart, he does have a heart and, um, and I know that he cares about me. So that makes me love him even more. Um, I, I knew when I first pulled up and seen her, <laughs> I was like, that's the one. <laughs> I was, didn't know if I was gonna actually open my mouth and talk and speak, but uh, God forbid, you know, I did, and, um, you know, it's, it's just been history ever since. But uh, I would say when I really start uh, knowing that I was in love with her is when I seen her around her family and how she treats her daughters and how she treated my kids, um, how she was with her mom and her sister and, and, and just the rest of her family members, I knew that that, that was the one for me. That day was a trip. I had to work that day. Um, you know, he shortly got off and just walking around the house, just lounging. So I hadn't planned on going anywhere. And at the last minute, he was like, put some clothes on. We're gonna 
go go out and do something. I didn't know what that was, but he said he needed to stop by my dad's house first, that we needed to. And I'm still trying to figure out, like, why do we got to come over here, you know? <laughs> so we get to my dad's house. Um, they were acting kind of antsy, but I still didn't get it. I'm thinking we're going to have a dinner or they got something to talk to me about, but no. Um, he shocked me because I, I was fussing at him. It's been nine years. You should have been did it. But <laughs> I was on my way to um, the ladies' room. We were sitting on the couch, and he came over to me. Um, everybody was just sitting on the couch at this point. And right before I was getting up, he came, grabbed my hand, and started talking to me. And at that point, I still didn't think he was going to propose, but it, he did. And um, I've been waiting for that forever, to be honest, for a long time. When you don't take my phone, do all that. I need you in my life. Oh, this man makes me strange, man. I, I can't live with him. You're mad at me, I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know that. I mean, I've been away for two days of the day we met. Yeah, I promise you, I, I can't live two more days. Damn. Please. I want to make sure y'all go. What are you really doing? Yeah, sure y'all go. Baby, he worked hard for the other boy. He been doing you. this for a minute. Damn, baby. I decided to do it when I bought the, her engagement ring. Um, I was out shopping and I looked and came across the rings and I was just like, this is what I need to be purchasing <laughs> right here. <laughs> so, and I, I want, definitely wanted to be um, at her dad's house, which is where it was. And uh, I was pretty nervous because it was a surprise to her. She didn't know at all. So basically we all just kind of gathered up over there. I kind of told her we were going out to eat. So, you know, dress up a little bit because I knew we were going to be filming that too. <laughs> And um, I just, we just, when everybody came to the house and got there, um, she was sitting there wondering why people are gathering up. And uh, I sat her down, grabbed her hand, and um, told her how much I needed her, and uh, asked to be my wife. He has a partner for life, um, a friend and a companion. Um, that's what we were first before anything else. We do have a strong friendship and I do not want to lose that. Um, I want him to know that I love him because he loves my daughter and me. And that's really, really what matters. Um, so with that being said, I want him to know that I will love him unconditionally. No matter what, I got his back. I want her to know she got a man for life. You have a man for life. I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. Um, our, our kids will have two parents for life. Um, there's n nothing much more that I love more than you. Uh, you can tell by the way I'm always uh, next to you. And um, pretty much we're, our life is about to start. And I'm very excited about it, and I can't wait. So. How are you? Anything else you want to um, add? No. Hopefully she say a lot of the similar things. <laughs> but um, I, I'm sure, though. Yeah, she loves me. So um, she wouldn't even be here. <laughs> you bring me joy. Right.